Time for Medical Monday. Dr. Brian Plicka here with Bay Care Clinic. We're talking about a wrist procedure to help people. Who are the people who might need something like this? Well, wrist arthroscopy, it's a minimally invasive procedure that we can use to actually place a small camera within the mm -hmm. joint um, of the wrist. And it allows us to evaluate whether there's a ligament injury. Uh, we can actually treat it at the same time. So it's very useful because it's minimally invasive. Right, you go in there once and you get everything done that you need to is what it sounds like. Correct. Who are people who might need this? So someone that has uh, wrist pathology and mm -hmm. it's failed conservative efforts okay. like splinting, uh, therapy, mm -hmm. uh, those types of things. And uh, we can treat them for the ligament injuries. If there's a cyst, such as a ganglion cyst, we can mm -hmm. treat that. Wrist fractures, we can actually use it as an adjunct for that as well. Okay. And we can even use a scope for carpal tunnel surgery. Can you describe a little bit what it's like when you have a wrist injury? How difficult are those everyday activities that we can take for granted? Well, it's exceedingly painful. Any type of just flexion or extension, so mm -hmm. moving the wrist up and down and opening and closing the palm is uh, exceedingly painful for people. What can people expect as they do go in for this? Recovery time, surgery time, things like that? It's uh, very much dependent on what we have to mm -hmm. do, of course. Uh, it's usually a couple of weeks for the scope itself. Mm -hmm. uh, however, if there's a ligament injury, we have to really respect soft tissue healing. So uh, a couple of weeks on top of that. Okay, are there any risks involved with this? So like any surgery, there's inherent risks like infection, uh, vascular injury, nerve injury, but being treated by someone that's hand fellowship trained in wrist arthroscopy can really help uh, limit that. Reduce those risks Correct. if you have somebody who is very well trained in this. Right. What have you heard from patients who have had this done who you know might not be able to do those everyday tasks? What have you heard from them after? Well, overall they've been pretty pleased and again it's from the minimally invasive nature, they're very small incisions so it's much less recovery time. Uh, the swelling is less. I really haven't heard much in terms of pain complaints and it often improves quite quickly. Oh, that's incredible. Things have changed a lot, haven't they? Correct, yes. Did it used to be a longer recovery time, longer downtime? Well, very much so. So any time there's you know, an open incision, mm -hmm. there's uh, more soft tissue uh, injury, uh, so you can just get back to things much quicker. You don't have to wait for How that. How big would you say the incision is? It's approximately less than a centimeter, a couple wow. millimeters actually. That's absolutely yep. incredible the yep. things you guys are doing now. Thanks so much for being with us. For more information about this procedure, just visit our website. We have information for you right there on the Wisconsin Tonight tab. Well, coming up next, it's known as Blue Monday, one of the gloomiest days of the year. We discuss ways to 